What's going on, gang? It's your boy, Fan Fuego. P H A N T M, and you are tuned into today's edition of Say It With Your Chest. EQ is life, life, life. As always, guys, thank you so much for rocking with us and vibing with us. Please continue to send your questions, comments, critiques, and criticisms right our way to EQ is life247 at gmail.com. EQ is life247 at gmail.com because, as always, EQ is life. Companies and coders looking to get your new application. If your new EQs demoed right here in front of our audience, artists looking to get your stuff mixed here on the show, whether it be your production or your song or both, either is fine. Let us hear it. We think it's dope. You got the spot. It's really that simple. EQ is life 24 7 at gmail.com. EQ is life 24 7 at gmail.com. And of course, engineers. Please send us your mixes. Send us what you're working on. Let us hear it back and let us see what you're getting into. EQ is like 24-7 at gmail.com. We are a growing community, loving what we're doing. And, you know, let's put this network to work, guys. The more of us that can mix and match, the better our music will come out. Keep sending me stuff and I'll keep sending it out to the people I feel it's appropriate to. And I promise you, this is all going to work out just as well for everyone. <laughs> EQ is life247 at gmail.com. EQ is life247 at gmail.com. So, not going to take up too much of your time today, but I do want to say one more thing as always. Guys, lead a hand with that mix. Lead a hand with that mix. Lead a hand with that mix. Well, thank you, Phantom, on your mix. Get Phantom on your mix. Get Phantom on your mix. Got a new single that's about to drop on Spotify. New mixtape that's about to rack. Run a run a muck, run a muck, run a muck around the streets. Get Phantom on your mix. Get Phantom on your mix. Get Phantom on your mix. Make sure your levels are competitive. Make sure that your competitors know that you out there and that you got heat, so to speak. EQ is life twenty four seven at gmail.com is where you can get at us about that as well. And uh, it's a it's it's a network, so. You may not be local. You may not be local to me, but you'll be local to one of my other amazing producers and engineers in this network. And you know, it's all about that network. I put you guys together, and you guys make your magic. If I personally can't get in touch with you, but trust me, I will try. <laughs> as long as you ain't on Mars, <laughs> I will try to get there. EQ is like twenty four seven at gmail dot com. EQ is like twenty four seven at gmail dot com. So I'm not going to take up too much more time. Let's jump in today. We're going to look at some seeking and destroy methods with our EQs. What do I mean by seek and destroy? So seek and destroy is a very popular uh, terminology for a method of EQing, which is uh, subtractive EQing. And uh, when you're subtractive EQing, you're notching away as many frequencies as you need to in a particular instrument or a series of instruments to get a better overall cohesive sound. And of course, there will be times when you boost without question, but I have found that subtractive EQing, seeking and destroying and getting stuff uh, sounding natural, quote unquote natural, getting stuff sounding how you'd like it first before you start to boost and start to draw attention to the corrections and draw attention to the areas that are left in the signal because that's really all a boost is doing. You're bringing additional volume to the areas that are left. So if you cut out a lot of the stuff that you don't want, you, you've already cre kind of created the sonic palette a little bit that you're looking for. And then the boosting is only helping to take that to the next level. So, and also you will find that with cutting, when you cut, if something sounds better, you know that that is probably true to form and going to be a sound a better a better addition to your mix that translates to the rest of the mix. Whereas when you're boosting, it's really subjective because things that sound louder generally get sound more exciting and they generally sound better because of the perspective of the loudness. So don't let loudness fool you. Don't let loudness fool you. Don't let loudness fool you. Again, 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 I say, don't let loudness fool you. All right? So, subtractive EQ, seek and destroy methods. Let's dig into them. As always, guys, EQ is like 24-7 at gmail.com. So, got this bass.
basic three band EQ up here, guys. And if you haven't gotten a chance to get yourself affiliated with Pro Tools yet, start with Pro Tools first, right on Avid.com for free 99. Literally just registering, you will get your hands on Pro Tools first. A iLock is not even needed for Pro Tools first, as you can just cloud digitally register and be in the control of an amazing DOM. Right then and there on your Mac or PC based computers. I, I don't know what else to say. You know, like I, you know, I use Pro Tools. I've been using Pro Tools for years. I'm absolutely in love with Pro Tools. There are a lot of great DAWs out here. I don't think any of the other DAWs hold a candle to Pro Tools. And you can say I'm biased. That's cool. I've worked in Logic. I've worked in Cubase. I've worked in Reason. I've you know, I've, I've done work with people that work in FL Studio. Amazing, amazing, amazing dogs. Amazing dogs. I love Pro Tools. I love Pro Tools. And we can debate it all day why I love Pro Tools. Um, but that's not what this particular episode is about. So let's jump back in. Shouts to Avid.com. Get your hands on Pro Tools first. Avid.com. And shouts to everybody who makes amazing dogs, because all the dogs are dope, to be honest with you. Logic is super, super dope. Studio One's amazing. Reason's amazing. Reaper's amazing. Cubase is amazing. You know, but Pro Tools is Pro Tools, right? <laughs> Pro Tools is Pro Tools. And I'm going to just leave it like that, because I got love for all the app development companies. But Pro Tools is Pro Tools. So... Say that to say. This EQ move that I'm going to do here, guys, I'm going to start with this mid filter, low mid low mid frequencies, as you can see right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to boost this as high as I possibly can. Let's play this and of course you see I have the playback on. I'm going to shrink my Q, so I'm only affecting the very small amount of frequencies, and I'm going to sweep across the frequency ranges. Whoa, what was that? So, what happened was you heard the benefit of the boost and the sweep method. I was able to find a frequency that was really obtrusive and annoying in the track, and immediately notch it out. Let's bypass that. That ringing comes back. Now that ringing may not have been initially as noticeable, but the fact that now we've attuned our ear to it by boosting it and enhancing it in the track, now we're able to easily discern or identify it and understand that we do not need it in our piano sample. So, yeah, I like that. Let's see if we can find any more. so much more in control, it's so much more tame, it's so much cleaner, but I'm still getting all the parts of the piano that are very important, and I haven't even added a high pass filter yet, just to let uh, a little bit of this bottom, let's hear how that sounds. Probably even, yeah, it definitely do that. Mm. 
hear that in the track. And you see me widening the cue a bit more just to get it sounding as natural and smooth as possible. I really like that bypass. That's really nice. Sits in the track so much better sits in the track so much better. Now all my low end information can come through. Wow. See everything there is it's, it's good to go. Do a little feathering to both sides of this cut to make these moves even more effective. I like that a lot. So that feathering thing at the end just gives me a bit more range that those cuts and boosts are now affecting because now I've added the tail end so that creates a bit more drastic slope so I can bring back some of the bottom of that so I don't have to be deleting as much at the bottom unless I want to um, and still kind of get the same type of effect. You know, seeking and destroying guys is an amazing, amazing method. I haven't even boosted yet and I really like where that sits in the track it's just enhanced more my low end gets to push through more there are so many positive things that happen just because I use an EQ to cut away and find the frequency that I did not need first around uh, what was that 1k and then I used a high pass filter of course because I, I heard a lot of unnecessary energy around 230 cycles so I said instead of just putting a another bell filter another bell curve right there i can just high pass filter all the way up to like 300 hertz anyway and just clean up that whole low end and so i've gotten so many benefits from just taking things away from the sound and uh, allowing other things to breathe as always guys questions comments critiques criticisms you know where to reach us you know where to reach us you know where to reach us eq is life 24 7 at gmail.com eq is life 247 at gmail.com you guys have a wonderful day. Keep working hard. Collab, collab, collab. Get into the studio with other people of other genres and work, 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 as Riri would say. Um, have a wonderful day. Keep pushing yourself to the limit. Keep writing them hits. And never forget, guys, EQ is life. Take care. See you tomorrow.